Okay, this week, League of Legends changed forever. Riot Games released a patch which many people are saying is the biggest one the game has ever seen. Every single champion has been affected. Why did they do this and what exactly are they changing? I'm going to sum it all up for you right now. All right, we've got a lot to talk about in today's video. This patch is also going to affect the game for a long time to come, which we will be talking about most likely in the future. So if you don't want to miss those videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this one, leave a like on your way out the door. Cheers. All right, so if you played League years ago and then recently came back to the game, there's probably a lot of things that you'd notice were different. There's been changes to the map, new dragons, new champions, new items, new mechanics. You get the idea. But one thing that a lot of returning players notice and something that continuous players have been complaining about for years is damage creep. To put it simply, a lot of champions reached a point where they could deal a lot of damage without much of a trade-off. Sometimes they didn't even have to land their own skill shots. See what I'm saying? Too much damage in the game. He misses ulti, his E, he missed literally every ability possible and I died. And I exhausted him. Not only that, but it also restricted champion diversity. In a game where certain champions are able to just delete people with relative ease, why pick anything else? There's a lot of champions out there that offer things other than damage, but their qualities have become increasingly irrelevant by comparison and their pick rate has plummeted as a result. Now, if you're relatively new to the game, this might be all you've ever known, but some players have been pulling up clips from past seasons to show just how out of hand things have gotten. Look, he has Targ's back cleaver with the same items, I would be so dead immediately. But look, he's dealing no damage. What is this? Look at the damage. Zero. It is crazy how much damage there is in the game now compared to all seasons. It is crazy. But after years of crying Rito please about damage creep, they finally listened. Patch 12.10, which went live this week, is called the Champion Durability Update. It promises to increase durability across the board. All champions have received 70 more health, 14 more health growth, 1.2 more armor growth, and 0.8 more magic resist growth. Now you'll notice here that Riot have opted to make all champions more tanky instead of nerfing damage across the board. That might seem like a trivial difference, they both result in less damage overall, but some players like Doublelift have theorized that Riot's decision might be a psychological one. Losing something such as damage feels way worse, actually twice, feels twice as bad as gaining something feels good. And and so it's a psychological thing where re like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what they do. They could increase durability or decrease damage. What you're really doing is you're making HP bars go down slower, okay? That's what the that's what the purpose of this change is. But before we get all carried away here, Let's not forget that damage, in its healthy form, is a good thing. It's the stuff of highlight reels. It feels good to deal it out. It's not inherently bad. Riot reassured everyone in a blog post earlier this month that they aren't trying to create games with no kills at 50 minutes. They acknowledge that high damage and the low survivability that comes with it can lead to more exciting pro metas and that it feels good for players to kill enemies instead of just forcing them to recall. But they were clear in their belief that increasing champions' defensive stats will be beneficial for letting players showcase their skill by giving them more opportunities for counterplay and to live out their high moments. Now, living out your high moments might sound like something your auntie would post on Facebook, but there is some sense to it. Riot are essentially trying to stretch out fights for longer, whether they're 1v1s in lane or full-on objective team fights. They want players to experience these moments for longer and have more opportunities to react to incoming damage, something that's definitely been lacking at times. What? 
The patch notes also outline how Riot will be nerfing heals and shields in order to balance out the increased durability. A total of 93 champions have had their heals and shields cut down. Yes, even Alistar couldn't escape. Then of course we've got summoner spells such as Barrier and Heal, Soul Buffs such as Mountain Drake's Shield and Ocean Drake's Heal, and items like Shield Bow, Redemption, and the bane of my existence, Gore Drinker. Seriously, there was a while back there where I almost quit the game because of Kane players building Gore Drinker. Actual anti-fun. Now all of this makes sense because heals and shields become exponentially more powerful as a team fight goes on. Trust me, as a former Ivan main myself, you can see his picture right there on my wall, I knew that if my teammates didn't die in the first few seconds of a team fight, I could keep them alive with a few shield rotations. Unfortunately for Ivan, it's not looking too good for him this patch. Ivern, E-Shield. So this is one that I was concerned about. Um, let's take a look at how bad it is. Wow, it's bad. So the obvious question now is, what will the game be like now? How will the meta shift? Clearly, Assassins and Mages are no longer going to be able to have their cake and eat it. All-round tankier champions means they're less able to just delete people with ease. And already, some Assassin players aren't too happy about the situation. Where is my damage? Riot! Where is it? On the other side of the coin, you've got AD carry mains who are frankly shocked that they're actually able to play the game now without their screen being perma gray. Look at the way I'm able to play. Like, is this not like insane? Like, is this not insane, guys? Do you see this? Like, this is actually how League of Legends used to be. I can't just Ooga Booga one shot you. And then you can just outplay them. Like, look at this. And it's not just squishy AD carries that are feeling pretty blessed right now. Bruisers are likely to be very happy with the changes too. They'll certainly benefit from the drawn out team fights, and really any champion that takes a while to scale will see this as a positive change. Of course, that means any champions who can directly counter those who are benefiting from all of this will also benefit from it. More tankiness for everyone means that true or percentage damage dealers like Vayne are gonna have an absolute field day. It's the patch circle of life and it really does move through us all. High burst assassins or mages are obviously gonna take a hit, but those who can offer some utilities such as Victor or Azir may survive the purge or even thrive. One final thing I wanna to touch on is that Baron Nasher is getting tougher. He'll have more damage across the board, including both his attack and magic damage. He'll be a more formidable objective all round, not just something you can two man sneak at 20 minutes anymore. Personally, I like this change and it ties in well with that shift towards more drawn out team fights that Riot really seems to be pushing for. Turrets are getting tougher too, so between that and Baron and champions not getting deleted anymore, the game really might feel like old league to some players. Are these changes good? I think so, overall, although obviously it's early days and it depends on what you play. As for pro play, we're going to have to wait until after MSI to see how pro teams adapt, but one thing is for sure, the game is going to be noticeably different at the highest level. Let me know what you think of the new patch, what has been your best and worst experience so far. I'm probably going to go and play a few games of Ivan right now. He might still be absolutely crap, but my god, I still love him. Let me read out a few Ivan quotes. What a wonderful day. Gooseberries would love it. <laughs> Laugh like a hyena and friends will gallop to your side. Such great quotes. This is just, he's got 30 quotes and they're all bangers.